What's going on lads and lasses, welcome back to 100% Max. So of course, breaking news in the last hour or so uh, is that Newcastle United have returned with a third bid for Mark Gurhey of Crystal Palace. We are desperate to get Mark Gurhey to Newcastle United. Eddie Howe is really wanting to get the centre-back to Newcastle United. He impressed in the Euros with England. He was probably by far one of the best uh, centre-backs at the Euros uh, and we are desperate to bring him to Newcastle United because we know the potential that is there. Uh, he wants to come to Newcastle United. Crystal Palace want to get him off their books and they want to get the money uh, from him as well to help them in the PSR department. And, of course, the fact that they are after a, another player uh, in La Crox uh, to come in as his replacement. And at the moment... Uh, last week, Newcastle got knocked back on a £50 million, uh, bid for Mark Gurhey to join uh, the club. And Palace are wanting £65 million. So Newcastle's £15 million off of what uh, Palace are wanting. There's some reports going around saying that Steve Parrish is willing to, at minimum, take £55 million, But I, I wouldn't read too much into some of them reports. Keith Downey himself today is just said that Palace are after 65 million for Mark Gurhey. I think that's a pretty decent fee, to be honest. Maybe we can get, you know, close to that 55 million mark uh, and then maybe add in 10 million on add-ons uh, to get the deal uh, done and get him to sign to Newcastle United. The reason Palace are wanting bare minimum, you know, 55 million is because there is a... 20% sell-on clause in there by Chelsea, of course, with Mark Gurhey being a former Chelsea player before moving to Crystal Palace. So Palace obviously want a big fee up front uh, to compensate for that 20% sell-on clause so that they will at least get a pretty decent uh, fee for the player uh, as Chelsea will be taking 20% of the fee, uh, of course. So that's the news on Mark Gurhey. Uh, hopefully we can get it done. Third bid is uh, in and it's all up to, you know, the clubs now. The player has already agreed with Newcastle personal terms. Uh, the agent of the player has already agreed uh, the terms with Newcastle. It's just getting the fee agreed, then getting that signature on the dotted line to see him in a black and white shirt. Hopefully it is done before... Uh, we take on Southampton in the opening day game this Saturday. Uh, but it remains to be seen if it will or not. If it is, then he might not start uh, for it. He might end up being, of course, on the bench. But at the end of the day, as long as we can get Mark Gurhey to sign in Newcastle United, then I will be happy with that. There hasn't been a great deal of uh, signings for it. You know, ones that we can say would be cemented first team players yes we've got Lloyd Kelly uh, in of course which has been a fantastic sign and he's showed some really good promising stuff already in pre-season and we do have of course the permanent move of Lewis Hall who was on loan it were last season from Chelsea with the option to buy which we did trigger that uh, and of course I'm sure he will be getting uh, first team start on Saturday when we take on Southampton. I'm sure he'll be at left back. Uh, I can't see Dan Byrne being at left back. I really can't, but we'll get to that in the preview uh, when we get around to a little bit closer to that game. Uh, but the other news is Nani Maduk of Chelsea. Now, Chelsea are looking to get rid of Nani Maduk. Uh, they want him off their books. Uh, and Newcastle are being linked with a move for him. Fabrizio Romano is saying that uh, Newcastle are interested in bringing in Nani Maduk, of course, uh, and he would be able to play in that right-wing position, which we have been looking at uh, this season uh, to go along with that centre-back role. So if we were to get Mark Gurhey in, then get Nani Maduk on a loan, with possibly an option to buy in there, which I'm sure there would be because Chelsea want to get him off their books. So there would be an option in there to buy him come the next air window to satisfy RPSR 
and to satisfy Chelsea's PSR. And then, of course, Nani Maduk would play forward just like Lewis Hall did last season on loan, then a permanent move would be done. I've got to say, he looks pretty promising from what I've seen of the stats of him. He doesn't look too bad neither this preseason. He's put in a pretty good shift from what I've seen of Chelsea during this preseason. Uh, another one that I would like to throw in myself would be Raheem Sterling. Yes, he's uh, 26 years old, I believe now, which, you know, he's still reasonably young when you consider uh, other players that are out there you know but he does play on the left of midfield so if we could somehow see him maybe play on the right of midfield then you know that would be great because we know Raheem Sterling does have the potential we've seen him when he was at uh, Man City you know what he did and he hasn't had the best of seasons the last few seasons at Chelsea since moving there from Man City, of course. Uh, but I think somebody like Eddie, you know, could get something out of uh, Raheem Sterling. I think he could, you know, get that last ounce of talent that is there. You know, the last few ounces that he's got left in his career at the age of 26, you know, get that uh, ability out of him. That was seen at Manchester City and he could be a massive player forward. That's just the one that I'm throwing in there. Um, there hasn't been any links to it. I did talk about, um, you know, a while back as well, saying how I would have liked to have seen him join Newcastle United when he was being rumoured of a move away from Man City. Uh, but then that never materialised. So you can tell, you know, I do like uh, the look of Raheem Sterling. He does seem like a really good player. He's got that lightning pace as well still, um, even at 26 years old, so he could do something forward. But as of now, uh, there's no real links to that one. That's just me throwing it in there. Uh, Nani Maduk has been linked. He has been talked about by Fabrizio Romano uh, in saying Newcastle is interested. And then the Mark Gurhi one, you know, has been confirmed pretty much by... Um, Keith Downey saying that there has been a third bid put in by Newcastle United and we'll wait to see what happens with the third bid. Hopefully uh, this third bid is successful and we do see um, Mark Gurhey rocking up to St James's Park in a black and white shirt uh, come you know, the start of this season. Uh, but let us know your thoughts anyway down in the comments below. Remember, hit like, share, subscribe to the channel. And also, if you're not a fan of Newcastle United or you are a fan of Newcastle United and you haven't seen it yet, go check out my Premier League predictions video to see where I've placed uh, Newcastle and to see where I've placed your team if you're not a fan of Newcastle, of course, uh, in my Premier League predictions for the 24-25 season. Fantastic viewing numbers, by the way, on that. I really do appreciate the support. That has been shown to that video uh, over 1k views on the video. That is one of my highest uh, ones for Premier League predictions uh, video I have gotten in views. So really do appreciate the support on that. And long may continue on the channel going forward as I run for that 2.5k subscriber milestone. It was still a reasonable bit away from it. But I'm sure with the support of you lads and lasses out there. I will be able to get there. Till next time, I'll see you all for the next one. And how are the lads?